What's up, you guys? I hope you are having a fantastic, what is today? Wednesday? Tuesday? Oh my gosh, I don't know. You having fun? Anyway, I hope you guys are having a fantastic week. This is my mom brain working. What happened? The kids are outside running around, um, playing on the trampoline and in dirt, getting all the good stuff for them. But, um, you know, I've had a lot of questions about uh, how we switched over to more of a natural lifestyle. Thank you. And I just figured instead of just writing everybody back individually on the messages, um, just making a video talking about it. Uh, first and foremost, I wanted to say that, you know, some people are zero to 100 and that's fantastic. For us, it didn't work like that. So we just slowly started integrating um, more natural items in our household. And I think it was a way for us to not feel completely overwhelmed. I mean, honestly, our, our natural journey started with dryer balls. <laughs> we literally switched out dryer sheets um, for dryer balls because we heard there were a lot of harmful things in dryer sheets. And um, and then just from there, we just started incorporating little things. But I guess the, the best advice that I could give you, and it's something that we did, um, start reading labels. Don't even read the back, okay? The back is so insane and it's a foreign language. I'm not saying don't read the back ever. I'm just saying starting off, it can be very overwhelming. So just read the front and start finding things that you can look that are eliminated in products like paraben free or dye free, aluminum free, uh, little things like that because that's a start. It's not, it's not perfect. Uh, what is perfect, but it's a great start. So start looking, looking there and then from there, you can start educating yourself, um, reading books. Um, uh, I love as far as like food stuff goes, not just makeup or lotions or shampoos and whatnot, but um, food, looking for non-GMO. Uh, if you can and want to go this far, we do all organic. And here's the thing. We travel a lot and we understand that that can be very difficult, um, especially when <laughs> when you're in the airport. How do you find completely organic options? So um, we do travel with awesome bars that we like, different things, and that's great. But um, also knowing that it's okay to, you know, not be perfect. I still love my goodies. Thank you, baby. We'll still get, you know, Maui pie because we love Maui pie. We'll still indulge in in certain things, but it's just not an everyday. I want to make this a lifestyle, not a fad. And I think that hopefully will be helpful for you guys. If you look at it more like this big lifestyle switch, as opposed to, um, like this month long fad that you're going to try. So from the dryer balls, we moved into essential oils. You guys know my obsession with essential oils. I use them for absolutely everything, cooking, cleaning, uh, face and body, you name it. I use it <laughs> even for my laundry. Um, and then, uh, actually we got rid of our microwave. That was a huge deal. Microwaves are pretty, pretty terrible for you and microwaving your food is junk. So, uh, it takes, it takes a little longer sometimes to reheat things on the stove. Um, we switched over. I think a lot of you have seen, like we love our Brava oven. So we've been using a Brava oven. Um, just little changes like that, but the stove is a fantastic, uh, device <laughs> that's been around for years guys um and just using that to reheat your food and then the nutrients stay in there um i'm trying to think of what else what other advice i can give you guys um you know i will be honest for the longest time i had trouble finding a deodorant that i really liked but what i learned was it took a long time for my body to detox from all the chemicals that i was using so it wasn't that all these deodorants were junk um these like natural deodorants i was like they don't work they're the worst it's that my body was so used to chemicals that it literally needed a month to detox so give yourself a month um give yourself some grace know that you know, this change doesn't just happen overnight. For some of you, it might. Um, and, and yeah, allow your body to get adjusted to the new lifestyle. And it's also a great opportunity for you to support your uh, local farmers in your area by attending farmers markets, finding things that are just natural and healthy and good for you, all the raw stuff. I mean, you know, the less packaging in foods, the better. Uh, that doesn't mean no packaged foods. Are you kidding me? I love all my protein bars. I love my goodies and they're organic. But if you can, you know, stick to, stick to a lot more greens. Um, you know, luckily on island, we even have meat options that are local. And it's so great because these are coming from, you know, uh, right here in our backyard, essentially. 
Uh, I'm trying to think, oh, what else, what else, what else? What other goodies can I uh, tell you guys? Oh, you know, this might be extreme for some people, but um, the big switch for us, uh, we ended up throwing out our entire, sorry, I have to look and make sure my kid is okay because he's being too quiet. Okay, he's just playing in the garden. Um, the big switch for us, we ended up literally emptying out our entire medicine cabinet and throwing everything away. I mean, we have no... Um, I guess, common medicine in our household whatsoever. And our pantry, you know, at, at first it was kind of hard, but we literally emptied out our whole pantry and started fresh, like new spices, all organic spices, um, everything. And, um, you know, we, we did this, we, we, we had a, a dear friend of ours lose, um, friends of ours lose their kid to cancer last year and that's when we really started doing all the research and realizing oh my gosh like what are we putting on our bodies what are we putting into our bodies what are we breathing in daily and like so many people are getting cancer and we're losing so many people around us like, how can we best prevent this so i'm just doing my best for my family and i hope you guys can do your best for your families it sounds so i used to think it was so silly to care about all this stuff um but when something like that happens it no longer feels silly it's just like okay why i need to take care of my temple and i need to actually care about what's on on my body and in my body and in the air around me so um there are many things that we can't control but the things that we can control let's try uh i'm super excited i we i we uh, uh, i can't speak um we have this awesome awesome amazing naturopath uh doctor her name is uh, hold on her name is rebecca edwards she is from yes you did it good job she is from australia and we are going to be doing a live on how to boost your immune system how to um just help your family in this time and just stay as healthy and awesome as possible. So we will be speech speaking with her. She's a naturopath and I think that she's going to give us a lot of uh, insight as to um, how to help have a healthy lifestyle. And I know I'm going to learn a lot from her because just on the conversation on like the phone with her was so like, oh my gosh, I need a whole new notebook <laughs> just to take in everything you're telling me right now. Um, and that's happening. I think tomorrow i'll double check the time uh but i'll let you guys know anyway this is long-winded but i hope it was in any way inspirational for you in any way helpful um it's not it's not this thing that has to be overwhelming but you can take small steps that can have a huge impact in your life and your family's life anyway love you guys god bless and um join us for that instagram live